A young mother's battle with a rare blood condition turned to a heartwarming tale of love and sacrifice as her fiance steps forward for a life-saving kidney transplant. Max Massey talked with the couple this Valentine's Day about that life-changing gift. Year and a half. I get emotional. <laughs> this is Natalie Cerna and Royal Johnson, a couple who went through a terrifying experience which should have been one of the happiest days of their lives. She had a normal pregnancy. Turned into terror. They wasn't able to stop the bleeding. They took her to the OR once they knew that they had to operate on her. Natalie was diagnosed with a rare blood disease. Atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome. She was in the hospital for a whole month. It was day after day of working to figure out what exactly happened and what could be done. They were having her have blood transfusions. They were putting on a bunch of meds, pushing a bunch of meds on her, and that ultimately caused her kidneys to fail. I kind of didn't want to accept the fact that, you know, I was on dialysis and that was going to be my, my life. Then Royal learned he could help out, even though he was not the right blood type. Well, he wasn't my match. So, and that's another thing that I was like, okay, like, are you sure you want to do it? Um, because he would be giving it to somebody else. So the transplant has an exchange program, which is an awesome exchange program. The pair went through the kidney exchange program at Methodist Transplant Institute. That's where living donor kidneys, well, they're exchanged with other recipients in need to ensure each patient receives a compatible transplant. You do whatever it, you know, it takes for you to protect your family. So I was like, this is the easiest decision of my life, you know, especially seeing her every night, having to hook herself up to dialysis and, you know, the emotional uh, trauma that she was going through. Now, about two years later, Natalie wants to know other people who are going through exactly what she did. She wants them to know they're not alone and that there are programs like the kidney exchange to help out. As for Royal, he could not be happier with his decision. One of the best decisions I ever made and don't regret it at all. And the couple, well, they're eager for the next step. Next is uh, the big day, the, the, you know, the wedding day. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. We wish them well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, here is why organ donations like these matter. Numbers from Donate Life Texas show over 100,000 people in the U.S. are waiting for an organ transplant. Over 10,000 of those people are here in Texas and 44% of adults in Texas are not registered organ donors. So here's some resources for you. If you want to sign up to be an organ donor, you can head to donatelifetexas.org slash register or tosa1.org. There you can find a form to become a registered organ donor as well as facts about organ donation. We also have plenty of information on organ donation on our website, ksat.com. Thank you for watching KSAT 12. If you are on YouTube, you can like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest news and weather here in San Antonio.